Today I am talking to you about AT&T Home Internet. AT&T is obviously very well known for their cell phone plans and some of their entertainment plans like HBO Max. However, today we're talking about home internet because they have a few different types of home internet offerings. I'm gonna let you know which one is best for you and why your neighbor might be getting super fast lightning speeds and you could be getting snail speeds. Stay tuned for that and more. I'm Sherry Riggs, you're watching with Loud TV. If this video ends up helping you or if you just want to hear more from me and more from Whistle Out, then feel free to subscribe, turn on those notifications, and of course, comment and like this video so I can give you more content. Okay, so what types of home internet does AT&T have? Well, they have technically three. They have DSL, they have fiber, and they have wireless. However, their wireless offering is pretty minute and really only available in rural areas and it's not that great yet. So we're not going to cover the wireless offering, but we are going to cover DSL and fiber. And at the end of this video, I am going to show you how you can get AT&T internet for just $10 a month. So that's gonna be at the very end. Stay tuned for that. If you wanna to skip to just a specific section of this video, you can look at the timeline below and I'll have timestamps for different parts and different sections that I'll be talking about like fiber and DSL and that $10 internet. So if you just wanna to skip to one of those parts, feel free to do so below. Okay, so without further delay, let's get right to it. Let's get to talking about AT&T home internet, the pros and cons, and which is best for you. First, let's talk about the different types of internet and why fiber is better than DSL. So fiber is the newest type of internet. It is incredibly fast. You can get up to gigabit speeds, and the, that is 1000 Mbps, which is incredibly fast. Uh, the benefit to fiber is that it has the same upload and download speed. So if you work from home, if you're having you know Zoom calls or you upload content or you upload designs or anything like that, having equal upload to download speeds is awesome. Normally the download speed is much higher than upload. So to have like 300 Mbps up and 300 Mbps down is like, pff, that is super awesome. Um, so in that regard, fiber is great. The other great thing to fiber is it's much cheaper. Now let's talk about DSL. DSL is slower, it's more expensive, and it's not as great. <laughs> and it requires more infrastructure and it just is like, ugh, DSL is awful and it is the way of the dinosaurs soon and hopefully it'll just be totally extinct. But for now, lots of internet service providers, including um, Verizon and AT&T offer it along with other internet service providers as well. So it's necessary that we go over these plans and talk about it because it might just be your only option if you don't have fiber. So DSL is a little bit of a bummer. Uh, it starts at a source in your neighborhood and the further you are from that source, the slower the internet gets. It's kind of like a bucket of water that you're carrying that has tons of holes in it. There's gonna be more water at the beginning, faster internet, and then there's gonna be less water at the end, slower internet. So the bad thing with DSL is that your neighbor could have incredibly fast speeds because they're closest to the source of the internet, and you could have slower speeds because you're farther away. So in that regard, you you will potentially have great speeds or slow speeds depending on where you are located in relation to the DSL node in your neighborhood. So with that being said, let's talk about the different plans AT&T offers and which is gonna be best for you. First, let's talk pricing so you know what you're getting into with AT&T internet plans. So they have about a dozen plans to choose from that start with somewhat cheap DSL plans and going up to somewhat cheap Fiber plans, They're, nothing is too expensive with AT&T, which is something that I really appreciate about the service. So we'll start with their, their slowest speed plans. Those start at under one Mbps. They start at kilobit speeds, which is like stupid slow, and they go up to five Mbps. This kind of speed and this type of service is really only available in very small parts of the country, specifically in rural areas. Um, so. I really don't recommend this plan at all or any either of those. I think there's five or three plans that range in those really slow speeds for $45 a month. Um, anything would be better than that. Any hotspot plan from any carrier would outperform super slow DSL speeds. So we're just gonna skip over those. We don't like those. Uh, the next set of plans are still DSL, but faster from 10 Mbps to 100 Mbps. And there's five plans throughout all of that. All of these plans cost the same. They're all $45, but 
but depending on where you are, uh, you might only be able to choose like a 50 Mbps plan, but your next neighbor could have 100 Mbps plan. So depending on the availability, you can choose anywhere from 10 to 100 Mbps in your neighborhood if you have AT&T internet available to you. Those are all $45. Let's move on to fiber now. Fiber, there are three plans to choose from, a 300, a 500, and a one gigabit plan. Those start at 35, 45, and then $65, give or take a few bucks. They're all around that area. So all of these speeds are really impressive and the pricing is really great. The 300 Mbps plan is cheaper than the DSL plan and it's slower. So if you have AT&T fiber available in your neighborhood and DSL available, 100% go with fiber because it's cheaper and faster. Now I keep talking about if you have it available in your area, if you can find it, blah, blah, blah. So let's talk about uh, AT&T's internet coverage map and where you can get internet coverage from AT&T. Well, it's available in 21 states, but not across all states. For instance, I live one mile away from my friend who has AT&T internet and I don't even have the option to get it. So it's available in certain zip codes and in certain parts of certain zip codes across these 21 states. And I'm not gonna list off all the states because you don't wanna hear me rattle off 21 names, but we're gonna put it on screen so it's easy for you to see where these are. They're in alphabetical order. And just take a look and look for your state. And if you really want to see if, if your state's covered, if you wanna see if your address has coverage, I'm just putting up a link over here where you can check to see if you have AT&T coverage in your area. All you have to do is input your address and we'll let you know if you have AT&T as an option for your home internet. So let's talk about bundles and what AT&T does offer. So they have a bunch of different services you can get. You can get cell phones, you can get home internet, you can get like a TV package or you can get a streaming service like HBO Max. Um, but they only bundle variations of the last three. They don't bundle cell phone plans with anything else. But the bundles that they do offer are pretty darn expensive. So I don't really recommend bundling anything with AT&T. I recommend just choosing the top two or three services you use the most and buy them separately. AT&T services, when you bundle it all together with like home entertainment and home internet, get to over $100 a month and that's pretty pricey. So find the best internet plan for you and find a few services that you like and get those. Don't necessarily bundle them together. But what you're looking at for the cost of AT&T internet ranges from $30 to $65 um, with fiber and DSL options. So let's take a second and rank AT&T's internet offerings. We're gonna look at their fiber plans and then the two sections of their DSL plans, right? So for fiber, you're looking anywhere from 30 to $65, depending on the plan, $30 for 300 Mbps, $65 for one gigabyte speeds. And so that's what you're looking at for fiber. Let's look at DSL for the first option, how we're ranking them. Number one is fiber, number two is the medium speed DSL. Those range from 10 Mbps download all the way to 100 Mbps. They're all $45 and you don't get this, all the speeds at every address. So your neighbor could have 100 and you could have 10. It just depends on where you are in relation to the DSL hotspot node in your area. It's not a hotspot, but it all gathers to one spot and then it goes to the houses. So depending on where you are in relation to that, you can have fast or slow internet, but it's all $45. And that's the second option I choose. If you have, if you don't have fiber, go with this second DSL plan. The third DSL plan are those really slow speeds I talked about at the beginning that were like under one Mbps and only up to five Mbps. If that is the only option available to you and nothing else is available, then go ahead, go for it. But don't seek out that plan. Don't get that plan if you have other options. Take a look at everything else before you commit to that because it's just, it's just not great. You'd be better using your cell phone hotspot than that plan. So that's basically what we're going to do for the ranks. Go with fiber, then go with the medium DSL, then go with the slow DSL if you have no other option. So what's the best internet plan for you overall? So I feel like I am really hitting home how awesome fiber is, but look, if you don't have fiber, it's okay, probably. So people who need fiber are people with multiple people that live in their household. So if you have like five or more people that use the internet every day, that stream, that listen, stream music, stream TV, um, I don't know, you're working from home, then fiber is probably a really important 
item to have in your home. But if you only have a few people or you're just a single person and you don't use, you don't game, you don't like mine crypto or you don't like upload tons of content daily, then DSL in a decent speed of DSL up to 100 probably, that's gonna be your best bet. That's not a bad thing to have. So. Keep in mind that although fiber is awesome, you definitely don't absolutely need it. It depends on your lifestyle. Take a look at this video up here to determine how much internet speed you need for your home. If you're feeling bummed out, you don't have fiber, maybe you don't even need it in the first place. And before I close out, I just want to mention how you can get cheap AT&T internet. And it's for people who absolutely need it. It's not for the general population. So if you're on a part of the SNAP program or if you're on social security income in the state of California only or SNAP anywhere, then you qual and you have AT&T home internet in your area, then you qualify for some okay speeds from AT&T for only $10 a month. So if that's something you feel like you qualify for, if you're interested in it, head to att.com to see if you qualify for their cheap internet and this is for people who absolutely need it. Um, but definitely check it out if you feel like that you could benefit from it and if that's something that you might qualify for. So that's it for this video today. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and feel free to connect with us on social media on all of the major platforms we're active and there on all of them. And I'd love for you to join us there as well. I'm Sherry Riggs. Thanks for watching Whistle Out TV.